Welcome to Tech Presence with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn what is the limit of resources in Azure Data Factory. So when we are talking about resources, we are talking about number of pipelines, the number of data sets, the triggers, and linked services. Now, what is the max number we can have in the one data factory? That's what we need to understand. And second, how to check that total number of resources in Azure Data Factory. So these are two questions that we are going to address in this video. So when I was doing this research and I went to Google and here I found it like, okay, resources limit in Azure Data Factory and that's our number. You can have total number of entities such as pipelines, data sets, triggers, linked services and integration runtimes within a data factory. That total is 5,000. So that might increase in future. But as of now, we have a total of 5,000. And working with different clients, I can tell you I have seen some of the clients got into this issue. They have been creating a lot of pipelines with the multiple data sets, with the multiple linked services and that is the issue. So how you can, uh, first of all, uh, uh, what are the solutions? Now, there are there could be multiple things. Maybe you have been creating more linked services. Uh, they're pointing to the same source, uh, and uh, you have been creating a lot of linked services uh, with the limited knowledge uh, that the same linked service can be used across multiple pipelines uh, if uh, you need to point to the same uh, SQL Server database or blob storage or any other, uh, other source. Now, um, some of the other things you can do, maybe the data sets, uh, you know, you can work on that one. Uh, pipeline, maybe you have created 100 pipeline to copy 100 different type of file, but you can achieve with the same one pipeline, you know, you can have a, uh, maybe sub branch it out, you know, in, inside the pipeline, depending on the parameter values of what you are getting. So you can t do tons of things uh, to live in this limit, but uh, uh, if you can't, then uh, there is a, what you can do, you can create another data factory and uh, then you can have the same limit in the, the next data factory and you can see that uh, there are data factories in Azure subscription, you can create 800 of them in one subscription. So there is no limit uh, really. Uh, you're going to create 800 data factories, that's going to be a lot of data factories, you know. So you might, uh, if you touch this limit, uh, you can go ahead and create another data factory, that's one solution, or work on existing uh, uh, data factory and uh, try to merge uh, multiple pipes lines into single and if they are performing same type of operation and you can uh, do some work on development and take care of it now how you would know that if you are close to this number of uh, uh, resources in your data factory so if you go to the data factory here I am uh, uh, in the manage and uh, I have these one, two, three, four, five. These are my linked services. And then if I go to the integration runtime, you can see right there, I have four of them. So total five plus four, make it nine. And then what I have here, I go to pipelines here and you can see I have one pipeline. So that means 10. Now I have two data sets, that means 12. And then I have also some triggers. So if you go to triggers and here is my trigger. And inside these pipelines, I have multiple data sets created. So you see already you have seen the data sets here actually. So you can see the pipeline num number of pipelines here and you can see the data sets. But in total, there is no way you can tell if you're reaching to the point where you are using around or close to 5,000. Uh, resources so one thing you can do if you are interested that uh, will help so if you go to the manage here let me see where we are and we go to the let me see arm template right here okay so if you go to the arm template what you can do uh, you can deploy uh, sorry export the arm template I'm gonna go ahead and uh, export the arm template and uh, it's gonna create uh, some file for us uh, and right here is our file I'm a, it's a zip file, I'm going to extract all, so yes, extract all, and uh, once uh, the file is uh, there, there is the arm underscore template.json file, that's the file that has definition for all the uh, resources, so now it does not really tell you, if I open this, uh, you are not going to be like, uh, if uh, this is going to open in my Visual Studio, I believe, or you can open in notepad and all that and I don't think so this does say like oh uh, uh, these many resources are there you know so these are this definition for a trigger pipelines data sets and everything but this does not say total number of uh, the resources but we can use this file and get the number how once we exported it 
import, exported, we can import back. We don't really have to import and overwrite on our uh, uh, existing data factory. We are just gonna see the values. So we are gonna click on the import on Azure portal. First we exported the ARM template uh, and then uh, now we are gonna do the import so we can get the number of uh, resources. And here I'm gonna go to uh, build your own template in the editor and uh, that's how uh, you can delete this file and uh, upload file and here you're gonna go to show all files and uh, remember that uh, arm template JSON that's the file we are gonna use it uh, hit open and now you can see that uh, your total resources right here so right here you can see that uh, these are your total resources uh, so this will help you kind of uh, take a look, but it's a little bit of work, you know, it's not like a, um, uh, what's, what's gonna happen? I mean, you are gonna have to export, then you have to import to get these uh, total number of resources uh, available in your Azure Data Factory. So I wish there would be a quick way, maybe PowerShell can provide that, but uh, this is one of the way you can do it. And here you can see all those, you know, link services, link services or anything, whatever is used here. So it's gonna be, this is trigger, pipeline, you know, link services, data sets and all that. So that's the, your number you are gonna see right there for the resources. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you would not get into these type of issues where you uh, have to struggle with the uh, number of resources in your data factory but if you do then you know where, where to take a look and how to find out and uh, how to even work on uh, maybe eliminating some uh, resources and uh, merging them together in the single pipelines or linked services if you can. Thank you very much and I will see you guys in the next video.